Hi guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Very last day of Google I.O. 2013 and I finally got not the Google Glass but Recon Instruments which is also a really cool heads-up display. So these are of course kind of sunglasses and I have a really proper display over here uh, which is right now running a couple of sensor apps. I have a compass running right now and there's also an app uh, that's kind of measuring my speed but this is running on a dual core uh, SOC and it runs Android Jelly Bean and next to me is Tyson Miller. Tyson you can tell us a lot more about this product. Sure yeah we're showing Recon Jet that's the name of it. It's an early version of our sunglasses that are coming out later this year. Super powerful computing platform for sports. Uh, basically the, the device is running things like GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and plus to connect to all sorts of sensors like bike computers and stuff like that. Um, it has uh, polarized lenses, HD camera on it, uh, runs full Jelly Bean native apps, so any app will run on it. Um, and uh, yeah, dual core, high resolution display, infrared gaze detection, the list goes on and on. It's We think it's going to change sports completely. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, as soon as I'm not looking at this display, it's switching off yep. basically to save battery, yep. right? It does. So you get the eye gazing in there. Yep. And you also have an SDK that's going to be available. Well, it's Android, right? So yep. so we have we have a, a, a few additions to the SDK, but it's completely open. We want developers to do whatever they want with it. It's going to be about 400 to $600, probably with an extra battery that you could just clip on and off at any time. So yeah, it's I, uh, it's pretty compelling, we think. I definitely like it. And the way you're also kind of navigating is a little bit similar to Google Glass, right? It is, yeah. But that's an optical touch sensor, so it works with gloves or in any condition if it's wet or whatever. And the screen is completely viewable outside in bright light as well uh, and that's why we opted for something that wasn't transparent but it, it kind of has a transparent look it projects like a virtual image in front of you yeah it's integrated speaker it does speaker uh, and mic mm -hmm. so you could control it with uh, voice command and stuff like that we're not nailing down the features right now but um, you know all the options are there and just to give you an idea how it would look like for you guys if you would wear this um, hold on this in a couple of seconds there's a little demo showing um, <laughs> that's hilarious oh it's coming well, Tyson, when is it going to be available this will be shipping in 2013 so at the end of the year um, it'll be out there and uh, yeah four to five hundred dollars four to six hundred somewhere okay. in that range uh, I'm and already haggling <laughs> you know what we're gonna make it as reasonably priced as possible uh, we want to be a lot of uh, developers have been waiting for a, a, an affordable heads-up display that has it's very powerful yeah and uh, we want to give it to them this year okay I think now now it really starts over there and then you can see Yep. How it looks like. And that's what I see right now. This is a golf application, firefighting, <laughs> you name it. It's gonna. We're, there's so many use cases here. It's crazy. Um, and the thing's rugged, so it can be used in multiple yeah. environments and, yeah. and things like that. It feels very solid, and it's actually very comfortable to wear. Yeah, uh, it's only weighs 60 grams in total. Wow. So it's. At first, you're like, oh, it's a little bit heavier than regular sunglasses, and then you kind of forget that right away. And mm -hmm. yeah, I, I ride with it and. You forget that it's even on. So, well, I have one issue with it. I wear glasses, right? Sure. So, what about prescription glasses? We don't care about. No, <laughs> no we're actually, we're actually going to, uh, we're working on that right now. We've heard that like 50 times in the last yeah. day about prescription, and uh, it's definitely something we're. It's on our radar, and we're figuring it out. Let me just take this off and give you an idea of how it looks. Or maybe Tyson, sure. you can hold it for a second. Yep. So. Over here, I think that that's oh, that's a little micro USB over yep. here, so I can recharge it. Sure. And it said like six hours of battery life. That's right. right? Six hours of battery life. CPU. All the the main guts are in this area here. On the other side, we have a battery. You could clip this on and off if you want, uh, just like that. And the uh, wire goes through the frame to power the device. This comes off as well. Uh, there'll be multiple lens combinations and stuff too. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. So this is just another 
impression of some new smartware and smart glass that are coming up. Um, that's the Recon Instruments, yep. and it's going to be available by the end of the year. Exactly, Recon Jet 2013. And, and actually, you can just head over to their website, ReconInstruments.com, right, and you can sign up for the, your new setter and when you can actually buy it. Like ReconInstruments.com, front slash jet. Okay, there you go. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching. Thank you.